concentration is quite a big issue for lots of children who have learning difficulties. Sometimes it can actually be part and parcel of the learning problem itself if they've got an attention deficit or even worse, if they've got ADHD. But a lot of children, even if they have dyslexia or dyspraxia, they may not have a core attention problem. But because they find learning such a struggle, it's so much more difficult for them to sustain their concentration and motivation than for children who find learning easier. So um, we're often asked, well, what's the best way to help children keep their concentration up? Because children with learning problems do need to have good concentration. They have to concentrate for longer. They have to work that much harder than the lucky children who don't have learning problems. So we've really come up with three tips to help with maintaining concentration. The first one is to try and build up the child's concentration span. That is the length of time that they can concentrate. And that needs to be built up in very small, very graded steps using, as Helen helpfully pointed out, a kitchen timer like this one. I mean, sometimes you have to accept that your child has got a very short concentration span. It may be a disappointing five minutes, but you say, okay, he or she can concentrate for five minutes. Let's call that the baseline. That's what they can do reasonably comfortably. Let's start with that. Let's do some activities that involve sitting down at a table and concentrating for five minutes. Then once they're comfortable doing that, you can gradually, step by step, minute by minute, lengthen that concentration span. You can go from five minutes up to seven minutes, and then when they're comfortable with seven minutes, you move up to ten minutes, and when they're comfortable with ten minutes, you move up to twelve minutes, and so on. So in this very gradual, graded way, you build up the child's concentration span, drawing their attention to the kitchen timer so that they become increasingly time aware. Very important with children who seem to have difficulties with concentration to get their attention before you give them an instruction. So one really needs to encourage them to look at you when you're giving them an instruction and they need to listen. So actually just getting them into a listening and looking set so they're ready to concentrate. And very importantly, rewarding them for building up their concentration span. So each time they sit down and they concentrate and they complete an activity within the time period you want them to complete it in, that's when it's important to give them a reward. And the reward can be praise, which you have to, which you should do all the time anyway. That's great, you did that fantastically, you you know, you worked right through for ten minutes without getting distracted, that's fantastic. Or it could be for younger children, some sort of sticker chart system. They've concentrated nicely, they get a sticker for their chart, they accumulate so many stickers, they can exchange it for a special treat. For older children, as Helen pointed out, you need something a bit more sophisticated, like some sort of point system that might even be linked in with, with things like pocket money, which, of course, all older children value. So very important to build concentration up step by step, encouraging them to get into looking and listening set and very importantly encouraging their concentration efforts by rewarding whether it's praise, stickers or points.